Good morning everyone. I wasn't gonna do a video, but then I says, you know what? I'm gonna show them how easy it is to make pancakes. Um, what I did was I'm gonna make an apple pie uh, pancake. What I did was I put one and a half cups of flour because it's only my granddaughter's and if it's because uh, Erica and I are juicing and if there's an extra uh, uh, pancake or two my husband will eat it but I put one and a half cups of flour I put about two tablespoons or maybe three tablespoons of oil uh, you want to use maybe a sunflower oil so it doesn't pick up any strong flavors I put half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt more half a teaspoon because you don't want them too salty I put a teaspoon and a half of baking powder I grated one apple and that's so far what I have in here. Now I'm going to add some milk and I'm going to show you approximately how much I use for one and a half cup of flour. But before I do that I'm going to push this aside. Sorry for the mess, we've got the juices going, we've got potatoes in the oven, we're making some home fries. But we're going to take, here we go. And we're going to cut up an apple. Now you want to peel these apples and you want to cube them. And we're going to cook them over the burner so we can make some cooked apples. I'm using whatever apple I have and you can use whatever apple you would like. At this point we're juicing so we've consumed a lot of our, our fruit. Just a little bit here so the kids don't choke on that. And you want them kind of chunky but not overly chunky. Very simple. I'm sorry I, I started this video halfway through making it. But it's very simple. I'm gonna write it on to I'm gonna write it on the side and it will be posted on my blog. So if you want to see the recipe later on, it's gonna be on my blog. So yeah, that size. So I'm going to cook maybe one, two apples. I'm going to cook it down with a little bit, what we call vegan butter or vegan margarine. Along with a little bit of apple juice, if you have. If you don't have, just use a little bit of water. Because you want these to get soft because they're going to go on top of the pancakes. My videos aren't like they normally are because I have my grandkids here and... They are my priority, but if I can squeeze in a video to show you how I do certain things. Oh, this apple's no good no more. So I'll get one more. So basically what we want to do is we want to replicate the taste of apple pie. We're going to also put a little bit of raisins while we're cooking this. And they're going to cook and they're going to get nice and moist. Or you could add the raisins dry. It's up to you. You could even soak the raisins ahead of time. I'm in a pinch right now, so I'm trying to rush it. But it's up to you. You have all the ideas Ooh. that you need. I did grate one of these apples right into the batter. That's almost like an egg replacement for us. And if you don't have... Um, since we're making apple pie, I use the apple, but otherwise I would normally use a banana. And they're patiently waiting for me. They did sneak half of that cookie this morning. Because they're hungry. They wake up famished. By the way, my granddaughters were not only conceived, but they were also born vegan. And they're thriving. Thriving. Nobody worries about how much protein they get. Uh... Nobody worries about if they're getting enough of this and enough of that. We do give them a B12 once in a while, but that's something everybody should be taking, not just vegans, right? Okay, so I'm just going to take away my compost. And we're going to just put a few raisins. We don't need a lot. Now, like I said, I'm using a little bit of apple juice. You can use water if you want to. And we're going to use a little bit, not too much, of, I'm using Earth Balance. Yeah. 
and we're gonna cook this until they get nice and soft we're gonna add here we go a little bit of cinnamon I'm gonna add a little maple and we're gonna add a little bit of cardamom do I have it here never sure if I have it here or if I have it somewhere else just a little bit maybe just a tiny pinch of clover and we're gonna put this on the burner and we're gonna cook it till it gets nice and soft just like the inside of an apple pie you might need a little extra maple we'll add it later mind you we're gonna top those pancakes with maple anyhow okay so here is my one and a half cup flour one apple grated a half a teaspoon of salt using about a teaspoon a teaspoon and a half of baking soda and we put some cinnamon so that's what we have in here and about three tablespoons of oil you need that otherwise your pancakes are going to be a mess and we're going to add milk to this and maybe some water and a little bit of vinegar kombucha vinegar okay okay did i put vanilla in here a little bit of vanilla i would say about maybe a teaspoon two teaspoons of vanilla the more vanilla the better it is now i am going to measure the amount of liquids i use because i do this all by eye and feel and if i tell you just put as much milk as you want you're going to probably say well you know what's the thickness of the mixture so we're going to start off with i'm using almond milk and this is a half this is a half cup so we're going to start off with that and you can see automatically that we need more i'm sure i need another half okay we're going to mix this and we're going to see how much we need yeah more so we're going to do another half so far we have one and a half okay see this is starting to look good already still too thick do you see how thick that is so we're gonna add just a little bit of water or you can add extra milk we're gonna a little bit at a time You might need like an extra eight of a cup of water. Remember, if you mess up, you could always put a little flour in there. Now that looks right. Okay, to this we're going to put one capful. So I would say, so this is kombucha vinegar that I store in here. And I'm going to put, you ready? One capful. So I'm going to measure this for you. So it's about one, two teaspoons of kombucha vinegar, or you can use apple cider vinegar. And there we go. We're going to put one more sprinkle. I wish you could smell my kitchen right now. My husband's got is, is uh, maple mustard potatoes in the oven, which I'm going to have to make a recipe for you guys one day, or he will make one for you. I've got apples cooking for the top of our, the top of our uh, pancakes. Just a sprinkle. always like adding a little extra because we don't use eggs in our... In a recipe uh, so yeah with the apples that we're gonna cook on top we're gonna we're cooking right now taste of the smell of cinnamon and maple that's gonna go on top of our pancakes well their pancakes not ours <laughs> ours is gonna be this morning I think we're gonna have uh, what did Erica say we're gonna have a pineapple 
either pineapple and cilantro or pineapple and mint juice this morning. But this is going to be for my grandkids. So how easy was this, right? And it's a beautiful, beautiful batter. I'm not sure if you can see it. Because if it's too watery, then they get too flat. And if it's too thick, then it might not cook in the center. So you got to find that perfect, perfect. And if you see you're still doing something and these aren't ready uh, to cook and they're getting a little thick, because it might get a little thicker while it's sitting there, just put a drop of either apple juice, which I might do. I'll just put a little drop of apple juice, maybe a capful. So by the time I'm done, these are going to be, here we go. This is freshly squeezed apple juice. And that'll take care of the thickness of your batter. And remember, if you find it's a little too wet, you could always add a little extra flour to the mixture. So I'm going to check it in a few minutes and look at this so far. Isn't that beautiful? Just a little bit of apples, raisins, maple. Uh, we're going to put a pinch of salt on there. And some vegan butter. And we've got beautiful, beautiful. And we don't even have to. If you have it on your burner, just keep an eye on it. You don't even have to mix it as it's cooking. I mean, you can mix it, but you really don't have to do much to those. So I'm just going to leave my flour here in case I need it, but I look like I'm going to be perfect. And that's how you make apple pie pancakes, guys. I'm telling you, vegan food is the best. going to add some extra butter to that and then I'm going to start my pancakes so anyhow that's how simple it is uh, I'm going to continue making these and uh, and then I'm going to show you what they look like when I'm plating them I want to see if the uh, if they you are eh? well you know where the water is uh, Bella uh, Cara you want to, it's the apples that go on the pancakes. Can you see if it's okay and without burning yourself in salt and sugar? Yeah, it's good. It's good? Yeah. Does it taste like cinnamon or does it need more? It's good. It's good. I'm going to put a little water. I'm adding just a little bit of water so they could get a little more tender. And don't worry about the water because as it cooks, it's going to, um, it's going to, evaporate and you're going to be left with just that maple and buttery taste. You just don't want those apples to be hard when they bite into it. Now you don't have to but if you want to go the traditional way where these pancakes are full of buttery flavor what you could do is put a little bit of butter you don't have to put a lot before you put your first pancake on top and you could do that for every layer it just gives that pancake that richer taste but if you're looking for if you're looking out for fats i'm going to say leave it out i'm making this for my grandkids and those are done there's just enough syrup it's almost like a caramel guys you see that nice little caramel and the apples are cooked so I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to start with my pancakes. No butter oil, but if you want to, you can. It depends on if you're worried, you could put a little bit, just a little bit to start, but you really don't have to when you're making it in a non, especially if you have a good non uh, nonstick pan like this. I'm just showing you, otherwise I would not have put that at all. And I use almost a full scoop. And then it goes onto the burner. This, I will lower the heat. I will not cook that on high. I am going to lower it to a four and play with it. Uh, you want to start seeing bubbles around the edge. That's when you know your pancake's ready to be flipped. See how it bubbled around the side? 
check the underneath if it's not golden oh I'm not sure if you can see it it's still not golden so it's going back on that means I could raise my heat just a bit but if you find that it gets golden too fast you got to lower your heat you got to play with your heat not every stove is the same And if you find your batter is a little too uh, liquidy, just add a little, a little flour, guys. Remember, these recipes of mine are all done by, by eye. They're never done by measurement. I'm trying to give you the, the best recipe I can. But really, cooking is all up to feel. You know when you've got it right. So play around with your food, and you can never get it wrong. And another hint, never get batter on your spatula because if you get batter on your spatula when you go try and flip it, you're going to make a mess of your pancake. That's the color you want on the outside. Give me a hand. Let me give you a hug. I know, I know you're dying. I'm making an apple pie. Erica, my daughter is giving me this look. I'm making <laughs> Poor kid. She's almost done though. She's got one more week. Right, Erica? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and these are her favorite so remember if you find your batter is uh, too liquidy just add you want that perfect per perfect batter and you know what I could give you all the measurements I want or you could follow any recipe you want there you go just crack in the back look inside cooked ready there's that's just a crumb of toast guys don't freak out there we go And that's how thick your batter should be. Do you see how thick that is? So how simple are these pancakes, guys? And look at that. You see how fluffy they are? And there's no eggs whatsoever in these pancakes. So we don't need to hurt any chickens to make a delicious pancake. Keep that edge clean with a little bit of paper. And I have to show you my husband's potatoes. One day I'm going to have to make him show you how he makes them. Right, Phil? What? Are you going to show them how to make potatoes? No, I won't do it. I just want to show you. Look at his potatoes. Can you tell he's a Virgo? Look at those potatoes. I think if you measure them, they're all the same. These are cooked in the, in the oven, and they're like a maple mustard. They're delicious. So how many pancakes are we getting? Uh, we're going to have uh, three, four, five, six pancakes with that one and a half cup flour. So play it by ear, guys. If you have more people in your family, double the recipe. Erica, can you give me a warm water to drink, please? Crack. There you go, they're ready. In it goes. A little more burr. Le burr. So these are going to be served like a piece of cake this morning. Rather than putting one or two pancakes on their plate, we're just going to cut it like a piece of cake and serve it that way for them. Just to change it up. My grandkids love it when I change it up. And that's the last of the pancake. Done. Look. No one ever knows that you cracked it in the bottom to see if it cooked. <laughs> okay. So we're going to top it with some butter. And then we're going to put on top Dana, Yes, baby. Is it my turn to have it? To have what, babe?
And there you go, guys. I hope you like. I hope you like this. Come, Kara. You want to see it? Come on, little movie star. Oh, see. I hope you like my grandma's cooking. I hope you like my grandma's cooking. And if you like this video, if, if you like this video, give her a, a thumbs up. And leave a comment. Leave a comment down below. And I'm gonna enjoy and Nana's I'm gonna enjoy <laughs> Nana's pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> So there you go, guys. I hope you like this I video. Want, and you need to come back inside. Okay, we're gonna let him back inside, and I'll see you in the next one. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.